Work is an essential part of life for people to be able to afford and fit in with society. However, there are some careers that people result in doing which breed unimaginable risk and could even invite the Grim Reaper every once in a while. From the collection of award-winning horse semen to a job that defies at least 21 deaths per year, here are 20 horrific jobs that pay big bucks. Number 20. Horse Semen Collectors you're probably wondering how horse semen can bring big bucks to someone's pocket. Well, it might just interest you to know that horse semen is one of the most expensive liquids on the planet, depending on the stallion, that is. While collecting and handling semen is not a complicated process, knowledge and attention to detail are required at all stages of the task. Semen like that of equine is very sensitive and, if not handled properly, will quickly lose its viability. This field of work aims to collect the best possible sample while ensuring everyone's safety. A technician's role in this process is important from the beginning to end. Horse semen can be collected, separated, and sold in small tubes called straws. One of these straws is worth about $1,200, which means that a gallon of this horse's semen is worth $4.7 million, and that's nowhere near the most expensive. Some super fertile stallions like Big Star can ejaculate once a day. This means it could produce over $20 million worth of semen during an eight-month stud season. And if a stallion semen is high quality, it can be frozen in straws for future use. In the horse breeding world, wealthy investors are willing to pay high prices for proven standard horse semen, hoping that the resulting foal provides a large return on investment. Number 19. Sewage Diver Sewage divers? While you may think it's gross, you might want to know that the highest paid salary for a sewer in the United Kingdom is £44,300 per year, while the lowest salary for a sewer is £15,063 per year. This brings us to how much these poop divers earn. <laughs> This job typically pays over $58,000 per year, according to the CBA Technical Institute. In addition to diving skills, these jobs require hazmat training and certification. And how much do sewer cleaners make? Basically, the average pay for a sewer pipe cleaner is about £30,253 per year, and £15 an hour in London. On average, the salary range for a sewer pipe cleaner is between £23,298 and £35,917. For sewage disposal, the average salary salary is about £22,655 a year and £11 an hour in London, United Kingdom. So basically, the average salary range for a sewage disposal worker is between £18,532 and £26,205. Number 18. Crime Scene Investigation Cleaning up after a murder scene, suicide, or acts of violence is a horrifying but potentially profitable line of work. This work is concerned with collecting body tissues, bone fragments, and blood, which are biohazards that, if not properly disposed of, have the potential to spread infectious diseases, also known as crime and trauma scene decontamination. This job involves removing these hazardous materials, then cleaning the scene to eliminate all traces of the crime. If you should know, this is for people who have the stomach as well as the degree of sensitivity as cleaners sometimes encounter people who have recently lost their loved ones in violent circumstances. In essence, don't take this type of job if you're not man or woman enough to chest what you might encounter during cleaning. Moving on, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics BSL, does not specifically list crime scene cleaning as an occupation, but the fact that the work routinely involves dealing with blood and body tissues means it falls under the hazardous materials removers working heading. And according to the BSL, the salary for this line of business as of May 2019 was $43,900, which slightly exceeds the number listed on the career website Simply Hired, which reports an average crime scene cleaner salary of $38,020 per year as of 2020. The good thing about this occupation is that no formal education is required, although you will need specialist knowledge on how to remove and dispose of biohazards. One disadvantage is that earnings will depend on the amount of crime in the worker's location. Number 17. Snake Milker Snake milk? Nah, we're talking venom. A snake milker is someone who extracts or milks poisonous snakes in order to create antivenoms used by hospitals and laboratories. It is common sense to immediately rush a snake bite victim to a hospital to get an antidote. And you might be interested to know that new medical research is working on snake venoms that can help to cure stroke and infectious tumors. 
Snake milkers work at the Serpentarium where snakes live. These snakes include cobras, mambas, vipers, asps, corals, copperheads, crates, sea snakes, and rattlesnakes. After collecting these venoms, they are freeze-dried and used or sold to laboratories, pharmaceutical companies, and universities for research and production. According to eCity Works, snake milkers earn as much as $30,000 a year, and it comes with its requirements, most especially a degree in herpetology, the study of reptiles. Snake milking is a dangerous job, but by becoming a means of saving lives, it can be quite satisfying. Unfortunately, just the word snake will send chills down the spine of many people. A very stern warning that this is no job for the weak. Number 16. Embalmers We are already aware of what embalming is, and for those who don't know, embalmers prepare the dead for burial. Most embalmers work for funeral homes, hospitals, morgues, and medical schools by disinfecting the body to prevent the spread of disease and preserving the bodies for funeral services. Embalmers must know and follow the laws that deal with handling and treating dead bodies. When given a body to prepare, they wash it with germicidal soap and dry it. They also shave the body if necessary, and during the embalming process, embalmers insert tubes into the body to remove the blood and replace it with embalming fluid. They sometimes also reshape body parts using materials such as cotton, plastic, or wax. Sometimes, they may apply cosmetics to give the face a lifelike appearance. Lastly, they dress the body and arrange it in a casket. And suppose the body is to be sent to another area for burial. In that case, embalmers place it in a special transportation case. In addition to the emotional fulfillment offered by a career in embalming, people who choose this field of occupation also receive a handsome financial reward. It's kind of giving me the same look like, you want to work with dead people? Which I think should be even more, judging by the nature of this job. Let us know what you think in the comment section. But before that, the average salary for an embalmer a year, as stated by the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, is $45,060. And you must know that this amount can vary greatly, depending on location, education, experience, and job title. Number 15. Crabbers when it comes to jobs that involve crabs, people often think of their bravery, bravado, and crass behavior. That's largely due to the wildly successful series of The Deadliest Catch on the Discovery Channel. Millions depend on crab fishers to supply seafood to their grocery stores and restaurants. Crabbing captains must be able to navigate boats to locate crabs and fulfill orders within strict deadlines. Crabbers require fishers to attack bait to pots, operate cranes to lift hundreds of pots into the ocean, throw the hook to retrieve their catch, place crabs in storage tanks, and safely stack pots onto their boats. Each year, hundreds of people head north to take part in Alaska's fishing industry. While, as a whole, Alaskan fishing attracts thousands, it is the crabbing industry alone that many are drawn to. This is because crabbing jobs in northern Alaska are some of the industry's most profitable and high-paying jobs. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, crab fishing jobs paid an average salary of $28,530 in 2017. The highest 10% of workers took home more than $48,170, while those at the bottom end make less than $18,170. The most successful crab captains can earn over $200,000 a year. Deckhands on these lucrative boats receive between $20,000 and $50,000 over a three-month period. Number 14. Portable Toilet Cleaner well, as you suspected, a portable toilet cleaner maintains the sanitation of portable restrooms. Their responsibilities are to pick up and deliver portable toilets to the locations by dispatch, handle sewage disposal and pump duties according to company guidelines, collect waste, clean the toilet and its housing, load sanitary supplies like toilet paper into the toilets, perform maintenance on the tank as necessary, and operate the vacuum to clean the toilet. Holy! They also complete all necessary paperwork, advise management when repairs are required, and meet all essential vehicle preventative maintenance for the truck that they drive. For qualifications, a portable toilet cleaner must have an excellent driving record and at least a Class C license for driving the truck and should have strong navigation and mapping skills to get to the destinations provided by the dispatcher. While it might sound like a gross task and all the while stressful, portable toilet cleaners earn as much as $36,845 a year as of March 9th, 2022. Number 13. Oil Rig Worker 
It is no secret that oil rig workers stand to make an impressive paycheck, even in entry-level positions. However, are these salaries worth the dangers that they face on a daily basis? As oil rig workers, their responsibilities involve supporting oil and gas drilling and extraction operations on an offshore oil platform. They may also perform a specific job on the rig, or their duties may focus on general labor tasks. To enter the oil rig career, one must have a high school diploma or GED certificate. Rigs may have apprenticeships or offer assistant positions for those who want to learn the skills to gain a management level position. Oil rig workers must also undergo safety training such as basic offshore safety instruction and emergency training and other requirements needed to be an oil rig worker. Workers often face 14-21 shifts, meaning they work for 14 days straight, followed by 21 days off. Each day on the rig comes with hard manual labor for many workers, sometimes including night shifts on the 24-hour operation. Salaries for an entry-level oil rig position come to an average of about $47,000 per year, with management positions making well over $100,000 per year. This high-level pay combined with a schedule that includes three of five of the year off per average employee sounds like a sweet deal for offshore workers, but comes with the risk of about 21 deaths per year. Number 12. Garbage Collector it is a known characteristic of modern times that instead of dumping our garbage wherever we see fit and spreading disease, we now have garbage collectors pick up the trash and take it away from towns and cities to more remote waste management facilities. These garbage collectors fall into two categories, the garbage truck driver and the helper, also known as the ground man, who picks up the garbage and recyclables. The job can be physically demanding for helpers since they pick up many garbage cans each day in the rain, snow, sleet, and the summer heat. In addition, garbage collectors also have to keep records of their garbage pickups, use hand signals to communicate with the helper or driver, and walk a great deal in neighborhoods where residences are close together. Garbage collection can be an unpleasant occupation. Hazards include falling objects from overloaded containers, broken glass, syringes, caustic chemicals, asbestos, inhaling dust, smoke, and fumes, diseases from solid waste, dog attacks, poor weather conditions, traffic accidents, and odors so foul that they can make the garbage collector physically sick. So, if you aren't up for the above listed warnings, I'd suggest you think twice before requesting an application. But just so you know, garbage collectors earn an average of $39,000 one hundred in 2020, with the best pay 25% made being $51,530 that year, while the lowest 25% made was $30,180. Number 11. Specimen Collector as valuable and special as the garbage collectors. We have specimen collectors who collect specimens such as urine, blood, or tissue samples in medical laboratories. They perform basic data entry tasks, get samples ready for additional laboratory testing and processing, and transport the samples to different facilities. More advanced positions may include other field or laboratory work such as drawing blood or preparing tissue samples for microscopic analysis. For an entry-level job as a specimen collector, the only requirements are a high school diploma or equivalent in basic data entry skills. A valid driver's license may also be required. For more advanced positions, additional qualifications or training may be necessary. As of March 27, 2022, the average annual pay for a specimen collector in the United States is $27,680 a year. Just in case you need a simple salary calculator, that works out to be approximately $13.27 an hour. This is the equivalent of $531 a week or $2,300 a month. Number 10. Plumbers For the modern American, the idea of living without indoor plumbing is unthinkable. Plumbing may be one of the greatest advances in society because it offers us significant comfort and convenience. We no longer have to step outside to brave harsh elements of nature to get water from a well or enjoy the outhouse's privacy. So, when pipes get clogged or spring a leak, most of us can't last long without calling in a plumber. They often have to crouch under sinks or through the crawl spaces under houses. If these cramped and dirty conditions aren't bad enough, they deal with our revolting clogs and waste or dangerously hot pipes. Plumbers are some of our most important workers. After all, without them, we might not have running water, including functioning wastewater systems. Their work is part of our daily lives, and we come into contact with plumbing on a near hourly basis. Customers commonly call with plumbing emergencies at all hours, making schedules unpredictable, but despite the drawbacks, plumbers make a nice living, as even entry-level plumbers typically pull in between $35,000 and $40,000 a year. On average, plumbers make about $47,000 annually. 
Becoming a plumber can be difficult, and it's a profession that is regulated by state agencies nationwide. There are also loads of educational outlets that fuel the career and associations that help develop plumbers in their practice. So, next time you call a plumber, don't forget to give them a pat on the back and appreciate a job well done. Number 9. Landfill Operator Similar to the situation of garbage collectors, landfill operators also have to deal with a large variety of waste and garbage on a daily basis. The main reason landfill operation is a dirty job is that the workers have to work all day in a landfill irrespective of the weather and external conditions. Landfills are the breeding grounds for many bacteria, pathogens, disease-causing microorganisms, and small animals such as rodents and vermin, which can cause life-threatening diseases to humans. As a landfill operator, you have to keep the trash as compacted and orderly as it can possibly be. By reducing the amount of wasted space in the landfill, you can keep it open and operational for a long period of time, and you may earn that Christmas bonus you've been counting on. However, the main job of a landfill operator is to remove and collect the methane gas formed at the landfills. This job is also highly dangerous since methane gas is extremely flammable. Since methane gas is a byproduct of decomposition, collecting methane can be tough since it's really smelly. Despite these conditions, the annual salary that a landfill gas operator makes is about $100,000, which makes it one of the highest paying jobs. Number 8. Wax Technician If hair grosses you out, this job may not be for you. However, the monetary rewards of this career may convince you. Though the average yearly salary of a wax specialist is on the lower end of this list, it may surprise you. Considering wax specialists typically don't need a college degree or years of experience. The only thing you'll need to do is provide wax or other hair removal services to clients. Responsibilities in this career include waxing body parts such as the back, bikini line, arms, legs, and face. In most cases, you will need qualifications to wax the hair out of someone. These qualifications may include a high school diploma and a license as an esthetician or cosmetologist in the state where you intend to work. The education for these licenses takes between three months and one year. Some states require work experience before licensing. You can obtain this experience and hone your skills through a cosmetology school or trade school. Some states offer to license wax specialists separately from estheticians. Regardless of your license, you must be familiar with the different waxing techniques to work as a waxing specialist. The average yearly salary of a wax specialist is a whooping sum of $48,750. However, as of March 27, 2022, the average annual pay for a wax specialist in the United States came down to $34,250 a year. Number 7. Lice Technician if you're scared of creepy crawlies, this might not be the best job for you. As lice technicians, their duties involve performing checks for head lice and using proven methods to remove them. They typically work with children, but adults may also require their services. This job involves educating and informing each client about lice prevention and hair care to help prevent the spread of these pests in schools and daycare centers. Most employers offer flexible schedules, but some require them to be available on call, at night, and on weekends. Some jobs even offer the opportunity to work either in a clinic or a salon setting. In contrast, these require them to visit clients' homes and business to be a lice technician, one must have an experience in healthcare or beauty and hair care industry. In this role, you need to be patient, pleasant, and calm as your responsibilities involve helping parents deal with a stressful and often embarrassing situation. Qualifications in child care and knowledge of lice removal and treatment techniques are a must, and so are communication skills. Lice technicians also need to keep good records and follow up to answer questions as needed. Some opportunities prefer candidates with sales or marketing experience, basic computer skills, and reliable transportation. But coupled with all these conditions, lice technicians earn up to $37,202 a year. Number 6. Electrical Linemen Electrical linemen are responsible for putting up power lines, doing work to keep them maintained, and performing repairs. They work with electrical equipment like switches and transformers as well as use lifts connected to special vehicles to climb up to reach power lines and equipment. Common tasks for electrical linemen include driving to the worksite, connecting new power lines or restoring fallen ones to buildings, performing tests on electrical equipment to find what causes problems, and replacing blown transformers. Due to working with electricity, this career has many dangers that require taking precautions to avoid electric shock and burns when handling equipment, and to avoid falling when working with a lift.
They also need to have physical strength, troubleshooting, mechanical skills, and color vision to work safely and effectively. Based on recent job posting activity on ZipRecruiter, the electrical lineman job market in Luxor, EG, and throughout the entire state is not very active as few companies are currently hiring. An electrical lineman in your area makes on average $71,628 per year, or the same as the national average annual salary of $71,628 a year. Number 5. Podiatrist these medical specialists help with problems that affect the feet or lower legs. They can treat injuries as well as complications from ongoing health issues like diabetes. You might hear people call them a podiatric physician or doctor of podiatric medicine. Are they doctors? They most certainly are, but they don't go to traditional medical school. Instead, they have their own schools and professional associations and have the title DPM, Doctor of Podiatric Medicine, after their names instead of MD, medical doctor. Podiatrist roles include dealing with the conditions resulting from bone and joint disorders such as arthritis, arthritis and soft tissue and muscular pathologies, and neurological and circulatory diseases. They can also diagnose and treat any complications of the above that affect the lower limb, including skin and nail disorders, corns, calluses, and ingrown toenails. You okay? Their income can be affected by the experience, geographical location, the type of podiatry practiced, the kind of treatment provided, reputation, and hours worked. Salaries at the specialist level range from £31,365 to £37,890, rising to £38,890 to £44,503 to team leader and advanced podiatrist roles. Salaries at consultant podiatrists or specialist registrars at the podiatric surgery level can range from £45,753 to 87,754 pounds. At the very highest level, consultant podiatric surgeons can earn up to 104,927 pounds. And if you work in private practice, you can typically earn around 20,000 pounds to 50,000 pounds. Number four, coal miner. Coal is used as fuel and in the production of steel and plastics. Raw coal is found in deposits on the earth. Coal miners bring coal to the surface. They transport coal to preparation plants, where preparation plant operators process the raw coal according to buyers' needs. Miners also work to ensure mine safety. Yet, coal mining is one of the most dangerous professions present these days. This has occupational hazards that can even claim the lives of their employees. Yet, we are grateful to those who put their lives on the line for this. The main reason coal mining is very dangerous is that many coal mines contain deposits of methane that cause large underground explosions at the slightest spark caused by friction or falling rocks. Many coal mines are also highly unstable, and they have a high chance of collapsing and killing coal miners along with them. Also, breathing and ingesting a large amount of coal dust by working in the coal mines every day can cause the employee to get a condition of black lung, with the coal dust deposits in the tissue of the lungs, thus creating breathing problems. Not the perfect description for someone looking for a job as a coal miner. But despite having a lot of occupational hazards, it's one of the most highly paid jobs out there, where employees are paid at least $65,000 annually, which may or may not be worth it. Let us know what you think. Number 3. Collecting Deer Urine this might be the weirdest yet, but as the name implies, urine farmers have to farm urine from animals such as deer to create an effective hunting lure. The urine collector has to be involved in the urine collecting process most of the time. These urine collecting farms often contain rooms where the deers are kept overnight. Deers are precious creatures. They are cloven-hooved ruminants and the only undulates having antlers. Deer raising is one of the profitable businesses. They are farmed because of their valuable products. Their products include deer meat, deer antlers, deer hides, and even deer Deer urine is a worthy product. How is it collected? What are the different benefits of deer urine? Well, let's find out. Urine collectors have to collect at least a gallon of urine from deer on a single shift. It's basically like a conventional dairy operation. This collected urine is used to capture male bucks during hunting seasons, in one way to lure the male, and in the other to mask their human sense. On the other hand, lures are intended to draw deer into a gun or bow range out of hunger, curiosity, or sex appeal. Unfortunately, there are various risks and factors associated with deer urine. This has been banned in many areas because of the potential pathogen it spreads and causes many diseases. Putting all that aside, these professionals are usually paid at least $80,000 a year. Number two, rodeo clown. 
First question, what is a rodeo clown? A rodeo clown is an entertainer who provides the same type of comic relief as a circus clown. During riding and roping events, rodeo clowns stay on the edge of the arena and use a portable microphone to comment on the reaction. It's similar to being a stand-up comic and does require improvisational skills. Where do they work? Most rodeos are seasonal events, and this job would require one to travel to locations where rodeos are being held. A full-time rodeo clown may perform in 50 to 100 or more rodeos per year. The top rodeo clowns may be part of an organized rodeo circuit, such as the Professional Bull Riders Nationwide Tour, and have a guaranteed salary. How much do they earn? Because the job is somewhat rare, the US Department of Labor doesn't keep statistics on rodeo clown salaries. Most professional rodeo clowns work as freelancers and are paid per performance by a rodeo's organizers. More experienced clowns with a well-established reputation may earn up to $2,000 per performance while beginners make considerably less. According to Rumford, the most talented rodeo clowns make between $150,000 and $200,000 per year. Final question, how many of you would love to be a rodeo clown? Let us know in the comments section. Number 1. Bomb Technician Bomb squad technicians are specialized law enforcement officers who disarm bombs before they detonate. These bombs are usually used by criminals who want to hurt people, damage property, or break into high security areas. By stopping bombs, a lot of lives are saved in the process. There is more than meets the eye to be a bomb technician. For example, did you know that they make an average of $24.09 an hour? That's $50,111 a year. If you're interested in becoming a bomb technician, one of the first things to consider is how much education you need. We've determined that 36.8% of bomb technicians have a bachelor's degree. We found that 15.8% of bomb technicians have a master's degree in higher education levels. Even though most bomb technicians have a college degree, it's possible to become one with only a high school degree or GED. You may find that experience and other jobs will help you become a bomb technician. In fact, many bomb technician jobs require experience in a role such as a police officer. Meanwhile, many bomb technicians also have previous career experience in roles such as trainer or security guard. It's the same time as easy and as difficult as it sounds. That's all for the 20 horrific jobs that pay big bucks. Which of these jobs sounded more horrifying to you? And if there are any more terrifying jobs you know about, let us know in the comment section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.